Is staging your Seattle area home important to the sale? Or is it all just a waste? Stay tuned to learn the top five reasons why staging your Seattle home can actually net you more money in the sale. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Sterling. And my name is Jess. We are both full-time real estate brokers with Sterling Team and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. So today's topic is a little bit controversial. Yeah. Not all agents agree as to the value of staging. Jess and I are big fans. Yes. <laughs> because in our experience and the statistics show that staging is important for five reasons. So let's dive into it right now. Reason number one as to why you want to stage your home is you're going to net more money. It's not just what we have seen in our experience in the 17 years of selling real estate. It's also what the statistics say. So Realtor.com says that you have upward of 20% more money in wow. your pocket by staging your home than leaving the home vacant. That's significant. It's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Also, the U.S. Department of Housing says that sellers who do use a professional stager will get up to 17% more. So we're not talking pennies. No, it's it's, it's substantial. Yeah. Well, and when you're considering that the cost of the staging is going to range you anywhere from what three to six thousand yeah, dollars, depending on the size of the home, the size of the stage. When you consider that and the return on your investment, that's significant. Absolutely. And you'll want to talk with your realtor as to which stagers to interview, yeah. which ones to hire, and which provide the best value. It's also important to note that many realtors will offer to partner with the homeowner yep. and pay for some or sometimes all of the stage. So be sure to have that conversation. Exactly, that's key. Number two is that buyers have a lack of imagination. Sorry to dog on you buyers, but when a home is vacant and buyers walk into it, it's really hard for them to envision themselves living in the home. So even if the staging is not quite their taste or their style, by them being able to see the home nicely staged, it gets that creative juices flowing, it gets that emotion high, and we all know that buyers buy on emotion. So you really wanna make sure that you have that in place for buyers as they walk through your home. That's a great point. You want it to feel Yes. like a home that they can envision themselves living in. Yeah. Point number three is all about making a great first impression. So it relates to point number two. And Jess and I didn't just roll out of bed and pop on the YouTube press record That's and make right. this video. We brushed our teeth, combed our hair. Put, put a little our, effort in. Yeah, we would look totally different and make a different impression if we were in, say, sweats and a t-shirt with messed up hair. Yeah. In fact, maybe we should... Show a picture. Show a picture of that. Yeah, that'd yes. be good. So we only have a few seconds to make that first impression. Yeah. And also staging is important because you're going to make that impression online. They're going to be looking at their smartphone, yeah. at the pictures. Also, when they visit the house in person, when they take a tour, you're making that second impression and you want it to really stick. You want that buyer to m make sure that it's, it's, it's making an imprint in their mind. So that first impression, it needs to linger enough so that they don't click on the next house, yeah. whether it's online or just want to see that next house, whether if they're touring houses. Well, and that brings up a good point because there are some companies who will do virtual staging. The problem with that though, is the buyers may like it online, but once they show up to your house in person and open that door, again, there's no furniture inside. It, it's really hard for them to make that connection unless they see the physical pieces in your home. That's a great point, Jess. We've had a number of buyers check out a house online and they see it virtual staged. And some of those photos are very convincing. Yes. So it looks like they're gonna see this beautifully uh, appointed house and then we open up the front door and they're let down. It's like, who robbed this place? It just feels <laughs> empty and empty, cold. There's lonely. no warmth or lights or any of that. Yeah, exactly. And these homes would sell just fine vacant, yeah. but you as a home seller don't want to sell Fine. Fine or yeah. okay. You want it to be as perfect as possible. Well, because we are trying to maximize the sale and net you the most money. So here are some photos of some homes that we recently sold before photos of the vacant space. Again, great home. And then here are the after photos of that same space that's been staged.
Yeah, and you can tell it's the same house. It has the same floor, same walls, roof, location. All of it is the same house. It hasn't been majorly remodeled. The difference is by accessorizing and staging the home, it just enhances it. Yeah. It makes it feel like a home, warm, mm -hmm. makes it feel inviting. And that's the value that staging provides is it takes an empty house and turns it into a welcoming home. So number four is that your home will sell faster. So not only will it sell for more money, but it will sell quicker. According to realtor.com, it'll sell 88% faster. Now you may be thinking to yourself, wait, aren't homes selling fast anyway? The majority of them are. At the same time, we do know that the longer a house sits on the market, that correlates to a lower purchase price. So you don't want to take the risk of not putting your best foot forward like we talked about earlier yeah. and taking longer to sell. Exactly. And last but not least, the reason why you would consider staging is because a professional stager will come into your house and tailor each room to the most effective way to present it. So for instance, a three bed, two bath house you would think, well, let's have three bedrooms yes. with three beds and the bathrooms with the nice towels and maybe a few plants and candles in there. But oftentimes that stager will come in and say, you know, that's not a bad idea, to, but to make it even better, mm -hmm. let's make sure that one of those bedrooms is designated as a home office. Yeah. So many people these days working from home, the remote workplace, mm -hmm. they want to have a home office. So even though you have a three bedroom house, making sure that two of those rooms are designated as bedrooms mm -hmm. and one home office, that can actually yield a better result. That's right. And that brings up a great point that sometimes we have homes that have a unique layout. And so by having the stager be creative in how they stage that space, it again connects with the buyer's creativity to realize, oh, this room that I didn't know what to do with if it had no furniture in it could actually be a playroom. It could be an office. It could be a sewing room. It could be a craft room, whatever it is that can help get those juices flowing and make those buyers connect with that home. And, and that's a great thing to also mention is that you're not looking to work with a stager who just puts furniture in there yes. for the sake of filling space. There's fabric, there's color, there's mm -hmm. dimensions, there's the quality. So you want to make sure that you're working with somebody who can come in and really tailor make it to fit the profile of the home and also that demographic that's going to be coming in and falling in love. That's what you want. You want that home buyer to come in and fall in love with your home and staging is a big part of that. Now that brings up a great point. Do we need to stage the home 100% of the time, all the time, or are there circumstances where maybe it wouldn't be in our best interest? Yeah, if you don't stage your home, your life is over. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, that's not the case. But while we're huge fans of staging, yeah. in most instances, there are a few exceptions where you may not want to stage. Number one is if your house is selling to an investor. Mm -hmm. It could be a teardown where the value in the land is much higher than keeping the house. And in those instances, the investors don't need the home staged. Or maybe the house is a hoarder house. Yeah. We have sold a number of hoarder houses and pictures of that doesn't always exude the best <laughs> impression. So in those instances, there are times where you don't want to hassle with staging and it may not be effective for the demographic that you're selling to. Yep. Number two would be if let's say that you lived out of state and it was an estate sale and you just don't have the time capacity bandwidth to deal with preparing the home for sale. You'd rather leave a little money on the table, put it on the market, get it sold as easy and low stress as possible to you. Yeah. In that instance, maybe it is worth evaluating whether or not the staging is actually going to net you more money. Along that would be if it's an extremely, extremely dated home or a motif home. In that instance, you'd want to check with your professional real estate agent and get their opinion as to whether or not that would benefit you. And the third reason as to why you may not want to stage your home is if you are the exception to the rule, and that is when you have a perfectly appointed yes. home with furniture, with art, and the stager we would recommend still visits your home because there could be a few little tweaks. Minor minor tweaks can still make a big, big difference yeah. and the devil is oftentimes in the details. But on occasion, maybe one out of 20 homeowners has a home that is so well appointed that the stager comes in and says, you know what, my work here will not improve things. Yeah. So 
having it more or less as is is a great way to feature the home. Well, and that brings up a great point. Sometimes there's the in-betweeners. So there are the people who do have nice pieces of furniture in their home. They have a nice home. They've done really great things with the home. It does shine. And in that case, it is still beneficial for the stager to come in and maybe recommend removing a few items to enhance the space, as well as maybe only bringing in one or two pieces that will really make a big impact. So again, that is a, just going back to that point of why it's so important to be working with a real estate professional to get that stager consultation and make sure that you are maximizing the sale. Thanks so much for watching this video. We sure hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did like it, please Press make sure the link you below. Yeah, hit the like and subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, you can still do that. Like it anyway. <laughs> And stay tuned, we have more videos in this series on your home selling success and tips to navigate the home selling process. Thanks again and have a great one. See you soon. Bye.